Welcome back to a, a night or an evening edition of uh, Punks and on our, with me, Mim, and on Old Ridge. Right, well, I've come back from the meeting. I decided to get on with some more work. I'm going to be working for another garage yet, I would have thought, just to try and get everything done. It's a very busy day tomorrow. But you yeah, are probably all interested to in know how the meeting went. It went very well. I, I'm on the Commons Committee. The only problem is Crawford Brown is uh, chairman of the, the committee, but we can deal with that. And we have uh, Mrs. Fordyce is also on the committee. Uh, she's very interested in the social and leisure side of the Commons, so uh, I will be working closely with her to so that we farmers can get what we want out of it and she can get what she needs out of the commons which is to be available most of the time for walking I have no problem with walking or picnics I'm not going to be quite so keen if they uh, start to light fires and whatever on there and have barbecues on the uh, grass but, and of course leave a load of cans and bottles at home but that we will, we will talk about. But the other thing is, I'm a bit later back than expected because I ran into Justin. He was with Mary at the hotel and they were having a night out. And he was telling me that he's very well up to date with his work. He's all he's got tomorrow is feed his animals and do the milk run. And he actually volunteered to come and help empty the BGA for me. And he said he's going to bring his uh, new to him tractor over. Um, I think I mentioned he's got himself a, a second hand Massey, very beat up, he said. It was from a farmer who had just gone out of business. And it's a fire sale. He managed to get in before the auction itself. It's a bit of luck and paid the farmer direct. So the farmer got more out of it. Justin got another tractor. And. Uh, the auction went uh, without, but uh, that's, that's beside the point. As you can see, it's getting dark now. I'm not going to be doing too much more. What I'm going to do is try and empty this tank here and actually get the combine up onto field 19 ready for an early start and one. I will have a milk run to do. And I think I'll get the wife to run me down there and I'll take this steer and I'll bring the steer home. Hopefully. Uh, try and remember what key does what there for a moment. I'm not certain how much more we've got in there, so I'll look. Oh, we've got another three, at least three runs anyway. I'm going to try and get as much of this in there because once. The uh, BGA starts to run. I want to move some of that slurry from the BGA in there and, and mix it off. As I think BP said, you, you cannot use the BGA stuff neat. I also hit another slight snag I, I found, and that is I ain't going to about slurry the new fields with the new top of grass. It doesn't like the rough behaviour of my slurry spreader I've got at the moment. So it looks like I'm also going to join BP in the dribble market. That won't be for a while. I might be uh, on the air hole to BP to borrow his food times, but I don't know yet. But what I should do is the fields one. It's going to go down to grass. I will slurry them and muck them well first. That should keep them going for a long time. Well, that I think we're almost up to date with the news. I say I met my fellow councillors, well, 11 of them, two of them couldn't make it. I also suggested perhaps to save the parish a bit of money, we should go back to the pub for our meeting. Crawford Brown was not uh, best pleased with that suggestion, but uh, the rest of the uh, councillors there said they'd think about it, so. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that the uh, oh, wrong one. Oh, I remember 
so many buttons in this uh, track like a lever that keeps getting which is which. Let's put the brake on again. We must be getting. Oh, we're coming up to half full. We should just about half fill this bin, I think, the tank. And if we can get that out of the BGA almost as soon as made, we can fill it up and have a 50 50 mix of uh, slurry from the, the BGA and our own slurry which will just about pass all the regulations at the moment. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Justin's tractor. He's, and he's still using that, that old JD, by the way. He uh, said he'd just finished grassing, uh, regrassing another meadow using that in his old cedar. It takes a long time, but it's enjoyable. It's just sitting there, not having to think about it too much. And of course, Mary's getting very close to uh, delivering. Gee, my word, she looked the size. Oh, I think he's got at least triplets. So he's going to have to make certain he, he can get the money in now. I did have to mention him to his father earlier on tonight, but uh, it seems that uh, Crawford Brown didn't, didn't particularly want to talk about him. He's not, I don't think he's too happy. He is actually doing quite well and, and more to the point, is happy. Far happier than uh, been in a long time. And then, other news, all the uh, crops seem fine. I haven't got too much to do with the other crops. And, uh, I also popped in and just had a word with Paul on the way back and warned him if he turned up to work tomorrow, I'd take the shotgun to him because he still looked a bit, he still looked very rough. I don't want him at work liable to make a mistake because he's not feeling up to it. I'd rather him off for another day so he can uh, fully recover or as close to as you ever get after what he's had. Uh, I didn't see Kylie, um, I did see a partner. He, he was walking. Uh, back from the shop, I was, I was coming back, the shop stays open for very long hours. Um, I was having for, for the supper, and he was saying she's quite a bit better to know, but uh, still not really fit to work, and he don't think she'll be back for a, close on a week. He's, he said he could have tried utmost to stop her from coming on to the farm for at least three days. But now and Carly, he won't stop her much more than that. She's a very determined young lady. But we're not too bad. We've got that rate to cut. And get down to the freight yard. But that won't be done. That will be sold, I don't think, tomorrow. It'll be the next day, hopefully, when Paul's back. I'll get him uh, sorting out the organic fields, hopefully if I if I can get the rape done in one day, but it's gonna be touch and go, it's a big big field. But the organics ready to will be ready to go in all the first two organic fields five and six. And they're down to OEB, but there's no well there is a hurry to get it down there because we've got nowhere to store that. Our oh, fields are taken up with the uh, with the conventional, or oh, bins are taken up with conventional grain. I don't really want to drop organic in there. And I've still got the uh, muck uh, trailer to put back, wash and put back. Uh, we'll finish that off when we get the next. Uh, 
repaired it. I must probably do that next time I muck out or empty the uh, bunkers up there at the same time. Although I'd like rather not bring it into uh, into the uh, use of using bunkers just yet. And I'm also thinking about putting a third muck bunk around uh, near the feed store where those uh, um, silage bunkers are coming out the one away from the pit I may just have, and drop, have another bunker dropped in there sometime for muck we will get to the point where during the winter when we're not using a lot of muck we are going to uh, need storage it's very similar with this slurry but we can move about the different pits if necessary the ones on the beef facility are very big open tanks and uh, we get a lot in there I'm not bothering to empty those at the moment so I'm just letting those get fairly full then have one really good go at emptying them yeah so tomorrow I have the milk run to do then we will make a start on uh, harvesting the rape. Justin said he will be there, should be here about 7 o'clock he reckons. He'd be getting up at 5, doing the feed, then collecting the milk and about 6 o'clock he'll start off for the cart to deliver his milk. And as soon as he's done that, he's going to have a bite to eat, check Mary's okay. And it'll be over. Yeah, there's a dinner. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get. We're gonna half fill this. Shouldn't be much more. One more load. I wouldn't have thought. No. I think we'll get on the wash pad next. Get this washed, and try to wash. Take that back. Come back. Pick the car wine up. And we'll take that up to the field tonight. It's not going to be wet overnight, so it won't come to any harm standing out in it. And it should be a dry night, so we should best start harvesting almost as soon as we finish the milk run. I will be glad to get that BGA emptied and sold. And what I'm going to do up on 19, I'm going to split the field straight away and I'm going to plant some maize up there and we're going to refill this bunk we just emptied so we get a constant supply we need to get the money in and it's the easiest way to do it I'm hoping to clear our, our overdraft would be somewhere around 300,000 by the morning the uh, rates the bank's charging us for that loan is astronomical. In a time of low bank rate, it's a bit too high, but I uh, can't do much about it. We needed the money then. See what we've got. Oh, two more load. Just, yeah, I think we do two more. We'll get it down to, to about. 20,000 left in here and we should be alright. I'll keep that F1 menu up for the moment. Oh, we have just to show off of. I've actually gone high tech. Um, let's just get it. Now we, we've got, I've got myself on the phone. I, I've been persuaded to buy a better phone and I've now got a little notepad on there so as you can see I've got for tomorrow harvest rape, empty BGA and sell milk then I've got sell rape to try and the day after so all I've got to do is remember to keep that going here we do one more and then after this then we that will keep that for quite a while and before we have to need Need to attempt it again. 
I think that all the rear and sheds will be okay for now. But I don't want to be too late tonight. So it's an early, be an early start in the morning. Well, early start. I won't get over to the car until six o'clock. But uh, I want to be ready to go at six, or as near to as I can manage. Two percent, you know, one more in there, I'll do it. Might have to get another slurry tank at some point. I like having slurry here, but uh, don't know if I could fit another tank in over there. But then again, we can't afford it at the moment, so it's, it doesn't really uh, amount to much as what I'd like to do. But I think if I can get a quick load of raping up on the, on 19, it should be ready to go in the autumn. Let's forage that, and then we. Sh well, I think we've got half a. We've got a full bunker. The one we're going to start. We've got half a bunker, and we can get another full bunker. I might just uh, cheat a bit if nobody watches and shove some grass in the uh, if we don't have enough maize up on that top field if we have too much I will just store the extra mind you if we have too much we can put that in on this bunker down here and I've decided that 1418 what I should do is Early spring, I shall put maize in for forage. As soon as that's out, I'm going to grass them and take that also for forage and for feed. And then re rinse and repeat. Should give us the best of all world. We will have to watch out for diseases so. though. But we will buy spray, it isn't organic we need this for. Yeah, this one I'd do it. Take it about two, three percent left in there. Two percent. So that will that will do as well. I'll do this and get this over on the wash pad, wash it, and take the uh, muck trailer back back up here. Pick the class up up onto the field, and we will be done for the day. Also, I'd like to move the class up tonight rather than to worry about that in the morning. That, uh, it can get a little bit busy because it'll be around 7 o'clock before, before I'd be ready to move that up onto the field. Oh, and the wife's very happy that she hasn't got to spend all the uh, morning moving silage about. It's a thankless task, to be honest. It's a bit mind-dumbing, but uh, Justin has said he, he doesn't mind. He, part of the fact, he wants to try to load all out. He's, he's looking for a second hand uh, telehandler. He still uses front loaders so, at his place, but he wants a telehandler just to speed things up a little bit. 
but of course it's all money. <laughs> uh, let's see what I want to do. I want to take. I want to take this tank. Oh no, it's a tank and jump back up here. Yeah, that'll be a problem. I'm not going to watch this tank at the moment. I, I will be keeping this tank down in the uh, milk parlor eventually, but also at some point I'm going to have to get a wash down there. And there goes the phone. Having a BP moment there. Luckily, the wife's at home. She's got uh, some people in for a lace meeting to make some to make lace. She's uh, very much into crafts. But let's get back to the story now. What we've got to do is try and back this in. break off and get back to the uh... well there's no getting dark uh... I think I might just call the wife I'll get the class up there first I think about it I could actually wash this lot down now and actually take this back tomorrow well, I'm gonna need to take the track down there for the help run Oh no, I've got the steer whopping back. <sighs> Every time you, you get a plan, it, I then think that some reason why I can't do it, so I will carry on as I was going to. Just hook this up and wash it. One of those nice little jobs I quite enjoy doing is just washing stuff down. It's therapeutic. I wish I could talk. Makes you feel better. And this old trailer, it's seen some hard. It's one, one, uh, one of the first things I, I personally bought when I took it over. Quite a bit of stuff I inherited, but that uh, old Marshall trailer was the original grind trailer. But as, as we tend to do on farms, as they get older, they, they get moved to other jobs. That should do it, that looks better. anymore. I can see again. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get one cut of grass off 14 and 18 and I'm going to plow them. I'm actually going to rent a bigger plow, I think, one of these American type style. More a ripper than a plow, just to uh, rip that up. I'm not so where I will then go over 
and I will play double cut right I will cut right with the par hair and then go over with a lightly with a tying cut right just to get get it really in good condition and I think I should muck both of those before we start it. But for this year I will be putting grass back in but I'm going to be putting this uh, special grass in my my main uh, double my uh, current got um, slurry gear that's new but I'm not certain how that's going to work price wise Pass it, you Ah, trouble is, I don't come up here in the dark very often. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I didn't fill everything up, nurse. What am I doing? That on to cruise. to the uh, combine well, gonna, oh by the way I'm taking that hedge out just opposite us this winter and I'll get a specialist in to move a couple of ground trees into so I can see where the open is, and that's going to make it easier to get back into the uh, rear and shed. I'm not too bad with the uh, something else, except for that sheep one, that lamb one. There's a lot of work going on this winter, and I'm hoping we're going to afford it all. Going ahead anyway, whether we can or not. As I told you, the solid bunkers are no problems. It's a straight swap. They're liable to pull them down and they have the uh, rubble out of it. Oh, look, Darren's finally shut up shop tonight. Meaning to trim this tree at the corner here because it causes a blind spot. Right, let's put this up. I'm right on juice at the moment. I'll break that. And say, the more I get the wife to run me over to the dairy, I'll use the steer for the milk run. And then I can get that back up here. We have everything back that's almost its right place again. Right, let's go and wind the combine up and get that up on that top meadow now. I think it's going to be easy to take it out of the uh, back entrance. 
please pull before he went sick man to get down the services for me. Let's check all the lights are working. Yeah. Not too good on backlights on this, but uh, we've got the beacons. I sure. Someone running the back of me. It'll be their insurance, not mine. This is the one problem with having this fold on the front. You can't see where the dickens should go and kind of cheat slightly. Back in cab once I made this entrance. Oh, we should be alright now. Run over the grass again. Ah, oh, the local council will be getting that on to me. Oh, food lights on in the place. There's food at the boat. We're probably all watching television. Not my idea of fun, to be honest. Now, this one is always fun. I lied, took a branch off this tree on the corner here. It can still catch you a bit. I go wide and swing round. You have to remember that most of these uh, places were built way before the size machinery we got now. I'm going to come out of the cab again to catch this entrance. It's too easy to to miss this one. That's it we're in. It won't be uh, ready yet, but the uh, right I'm expecting it to be ready by the morning. And I think we will uh, call it here. Uh, so I'm gonna say thank you all very much for watching. If you like this all please leave a like. It helps me, it helps the channel. And I feel wanted. Just turn the lights off. Just gonna jump out. And I think we'll do this as our screenshot. Should have washed it before I started. Uh, if you're not subscribed or wish to subscribe, please do I'm always happy to have new subscribers I'll just click. that's it uh, any comments please feel free to comment I will try and answer everyone not always successful but I do try and I'll just, just remember I've got a coffee up here and with that it's me and I'm saying cheerio for now Cheerio.